The engineer has been, and is, a maker of history. Strive for perfection in everything you do. Take the best that exists and make it better. When it does not exist, design it. One man's magic is another man's engineering. Supernatural is a no word. The life work of the engineer consists in the systematic application of natural forces and the systematic development of natural resources in the service of man. Engineers are not mere technicians and should not approve or lend their name to any project that does not promise to be beneficent to man and the advancement of civilization. The engineer is a mediator between the philosopher and the working mechanic, and like an interpreter between two foreigners, must understand the language of both, hence the absolute necessity of possessing both practical and theoretical knowledge. We are continually faced by great opportunities, brilliantly disguised as insoluble problems. Architects and engineers are among the most fortunate of men, since they build their own monuments with public consent, public approval, and often public money. Engineering is not merely knowing and being knowledgeable, like a walking encyclopedia. Engineering is not merely analysis. Engineering is not merely the possession of the capacity to get elegant solutions to non-existent engineering problems. Engineering is practicing the art of the organizing forces of technological change. Engineers operate at the interface between science and society. Engineering is not only the study of 45 subjects, but it is moral studies of intellectual life. No doubt, as years go by, people forget which engineer did it, even if they ever knew. Or some politician puts his name on it. Or they credit it to some promoter who used other people's money with which to finance it. But the engineer himself looks back at the unending stream of goodness that flows from his successes with satisfactions that few professions may know. And the verdict of his fellow professionals is all the accolade he wants. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Being willing is not enough. We must do.